Hey gang, here we go into a new computer animation tutorial and what we're going to be doing today is creating a spinning galaxy animation with uh, something circular to take the place of the galaxy. So I went with a coffee cup and then we're going to go over how to create uh, what's called a PNG graphic using Pixlr and do a couple graphics that kind of like also go with this. So we're working all with photographs that we're going to edit and use and create PNGs in a uh, photo editor called Pixlr. And so let's go ahead and jump in to get this started. So I'm going to hit new here and go ahead and click create. First thing you want to start with is an image of something circular. I had the image of the coffee cup that I'd already uh, searched for on Google Image Searched and saved it to uh, my computer. So you'll want to save that to your computer, whatever image you want to use. Something circular could be really anything. Anything that's circular. It could be a clock, uh, it could be a cup, it could be sunglasses, it could be any number of things. So uh, once you upload that photo to your assets, you'll want to click and drag it to your stage in order to use it. I'll call this layer cup just to kind of give it an idea of which one I'm working on. I'm going to zoom out just a step and I'm going to stretch this, uh, hold the shift key and pull on the corner, stretch it so that it will fill my entire uh, canvas here. So that looks good to start. And now what I want to do is um, add a couple more layers. Um, this next one is where my galaxy is going to go. And so I will call it galaxy. And then what we're going to go over now is how to use Pixlr. And so I'm going to click here just to put a frame there. So my galaxy will go there eventually. Um, so we're going to go to another website called pixlr.com. And you're going to want to choose the option of Pixlr E when you get to pixlr.com and then we'll go ahead and click create new and pixlr is basically a free version of adobe photoshop that we can use on a chromebook or any uh, computing device so i'm going to call this uh, doc that i'm doing here galaxy maybe i'll call it galaxy png like i did before i might just call it galaxy so there's no confusion with wic and the images that i have saved and click create I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, and what we'll want to do here is do a Google search, Google image search for Galaxy. I found one here that I liked, so I'm going to save this image as well to my downloads, and maybe I'll just call it Gal, and hit save. And then what I'll do is go ahead over to Pixlr, um, and I'll want to, actually, wouldn't you actually even have to uh, save that? I'm sorry. So I want to actually copy it. Just copy that image and then go over to Pixlr and hit Command V to paste it, right? Or you could go to Edit Paste. And now I can work on this and edit it a little bit in Pixlr. So I might just stretch it out just a little bit um, to kind of fill this area uh, vertically. And then maybe I'll take the Crop tool and just kind of crop the sides off just a little bit. All right, and then hit apply. So now that's cropped. And the next thing I want to do is make this into a circle PNG, right? So I want to take my selection tool here, go to the ellipse tool. I'm going to hold shift and click and drag to make a circle. If you don't hold the ellipse tool, you will not get a good circle. And then I'm just going to kind of center this circle up a little bit more over the galaxy spiral here. What I want to do is delete the outside of this circle. So I'm going to go ahead and go to select and then go to invert selection. That way I have all this stuff out here. So when I just hit delete, uh, it's going to tell me it's on the image layer because I don't have the layer selected. So I'm going to select the image layer and then hit delete. All right. And then um, that is cleared out. And I'll just hit command D to deselect. You could also go to select and go to deselect here or command D. Um, and now I'll just crop this a little bit more. Just pull on the edges just a little bit so it's just kind of like a square that goes around my circle. It doesn't have to be all the way to the edges. And then hit apply. All right, nice. So this is good. So I'm going to hit file, save. I'm going to make sure I have PNG selected. That's going to maintain the transparency out here. And we're going to do that again actually with the spoon image that I'm going to put in. So now this image, this PNG image, is downloaded to my computer. And so I'll go over to Wic Editor and I would just upload this as an asset. So upload asset, choose the Galaxy PNG you have in your downloads, and then we'll go to open. 
and now I can click and drag this galaxy into my project. And you got to make sure you have a frame there in order to drag it to the frame. And so I'm just going to zoom out just a little bit, take this image and shrink it down. Um, I did not hold shift, so I'll make sure I hold shift and shrink it down so that it will fit inside my coffee cup. All right, maybe zoom in back in just a little bit here. I can nudge this with the arrow keys on my keyboard to make sure that it fits. And that looks pretty good. So uh, the length of this animation will make maybe 24 frames or so. A couple seconds that will play over and over on a loop. And so you, all we want to do in order to get this galaxy to spin is just click the Add Tween button. So once we add that tween, I'll go to the end here and then just hit that Add Tween button again. And so now we have a diamond at each end. And all I want to do is select this first diamond, click in the full rotation area here, and maybe enter two or one. Um, and then I can hit play and you'll see that galaxy spin. So that's how you can create the spinning galaxy part. And then I'll go over how to uh, kind of add the spoon in there and have that fly off as well. Another little approach to Pixlr. So uh, one other thing I may do to this is add easing. So if you click on this first diamond of your tween, you can add an ease. I can add this ease in or ease out. I think I like the ease out, which is where it starts quick and then it kind of slows down at the end. Right, and then starts to spin again. So that looks pretty nice. And now I'm going to go over to get, add this spoon into the mix. So I'm going to again uh, take this Google image search that I have loaded up here. I'm going to copy this image and then I'm going to go over to Pixlr. I'll go back to home and then click create new again. Uh, this one I'll call spoon. Hit create and then command V again to paste this in. So I just want to go over one other tool here that's useful when you're creating these PNG graphics. So the spoon image has an all white background. So one way you can get rid of that is if you use the wand selection tool. And if you use the wand selection tool, you can click in this area of white and just get rid of this entire area of white around it and then save just the spoon image. Um, you could also use the eraser tool. If you have an image that doesn't have just a white background, you can use the eraser tool here and just erase everything around the image that you want to save. Um, but it's helpful if you just look up the image you're looking for and then white background so you get something with a white background. You'll notice though this with this selection though it went into the spoon a little bit. So what I'm going to do is go back to my wand tool. I'm going to turn this tolerance number down somewhere in the single digits and then click out here again with my wand tool. Come on, give it back to me. I think what I have to do is hit command D to deselect, get rid of that selection and now I can click out here and start a new one. And there we go. You'll see it didn't go into the spoon with my selection, which is key. So now I'm just going to hit delete and get rid of that and then hit command D so that I can deselect it and then go and I'm going to crop this in a little bit just like I did before with the galaxy. Give this a little crop in and then I'll hit apply. And then I'm going to go to file, save again and save this as a PNG again. Portable Network Graphic is what PNG stands for. And then I'm going to just hit close to this window. And now I'll bring that spoon into Wick Editor. So I'll upload another asset here. Choose my spoon PNG. Hit open. Um, I do need to create a new layer for this spoon. Anything that uses a tween needs to be on its own layer. So I'm going to go spoon, name that layer. Click on this first box here to create a frame there for the, my spoon to land. Then click and drag that spoon in. You'll see right now it's the bottom layer. It's all the way behind the cup layer. So if I want that to be up, I want it to be underneath the galaxy layer, but above the cup layer. So I'm just going to move that up in between. And now I'm just going to take this spoon. You do have to hold shift and click and drag from the corners when you're using a uh, wick editor in order to uh, skew the size proportionally. And now I'm just going to kind of flip this spoon in here, have it kind of coming out of the corner of the cup. And what I want to do with this is just give it a little tween action as well. So I'm going to pull the frames out. I'm going to hit add tween. And then I'm going to just go to my end frame here, drag the spoon kind of off the corner of the stage. And then again, I'm going to add just a little rotation. So as the spoon flies out, click that first diamond hit one for rotation. And now as that's, like I said, as the galaxy spins, it kind of tosses the spoon 
out of the cup. And so if I wanted this to be a little bit faster, I think what I did before was took the end frame and actually just slid it down to like maybe in the middle here at the 12th frame or so. So it flies out a little faster and I'll just play that again. All right, so that's a little better. So the galaxy starts to spin inside the cup, the spoon kind of flies out and then it starts over again. So that's pretty much all there is to this video lesson. I uh, hope you have fun getting to know how to use PNG graphics to make animations in Wick Editor.